Hey all. In this video, we will discuss how test automation works in CI-CD pipelines. This video is part of my Udemy Education Test Automation Foundations. You can find the discount coupon in the descriptions. Alright, so let's get started. Hey team. In this lesson, we will discuss the importance of test automation for continuous integration and continuous delivery. I'm sure you have heard CI-CD or already have some idea about it. It's an important and hot topic for the software lifecycle and delivery. Let's go deep into the subject. Firstly, I will start with the essential explanations. And afterwards, I will illustrate the pipeline and give you an ideal pipeline for software delivery. CI-CD is a method to frequently deliver apps to customers by introducing automation in the stages of application development. The main concepts attributed to CI-CD are continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. Specifically, CI-CD introduces ongoing automation and continuous monitoring through the life cycle of applications from integration and testing phases to delivery and deployment. Automation gained popularity together with the increasing demand for an agile way of working. And CI-CD is a must for every organization that focuses on shipping software quickly and effectively. CI-CD facilitates an effective process for getting products to market faster than ever before by continuously delivering code into production and ensuring an ongoing flow of new features and bug fixes via the most efficient delivery method. Of course, as part of the new functions, as a test engineers, we ensure that the project's outcome meets the customer expectations. Also, we need to keep automation a top priority to enable CI-CD in all organizations. Let's go into the details of each concept. Afterward, I will show you an example pipeline typical for companies focused on CI-CD. First, let's go through continuous integration, which is shortly CI. It is a practice that involves developers making small changes and checks to their code. Due to the scale of requirements and the number of steps involved, this process is automated to ensure that teams build, test, and package their applications in a reliable and repeatable way. Continuous integration helps streamline code changes, thereby increasing the time for developers to make changes and contribute to improved software. In the old days, developers used to have long-living feature branches. After a couple of months of development, they merged feature branches into the main code. This sort of work creates a lot of regression problems, and therefore it makes it harder to integrate your new code into the existing code base. CI is a key to enabling continuous and fast application delivery. Alright, let's continue with continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is the automated delivery of completed code to environments like testing and development. Continuous delivery provides an automated and consistent way for code to be delivered to these environments. For example, let's say in your company you have two environments. One is development and another one is test. Continuous delivery runs multiple checks on a pipeline and it deploys the new code changes automatically to the specific environments. After explaining continuous deployment, I will illustrate all these points on a pipeline. Alright, let's continue with our final concept. Continuous deployment is the next step of continuous delivery. Every changes that passes the automated tests is automatically placed in production, resulting in many production deployments. Imagine the Amazon.com website. Wonder how many deployments Amazon does in a day? I found an article about it from 2014. Even then, Amazon achieved 50 million production deployments per year. It means 1.6 per second. Nowadays, it is even less than a deployment per second. This kind of speed is impossible without enabling continuous deployment in your organization. I attach Amazon.com research in the resources. Alright, let's continue with CI-CD pipeline example. A pipeline is a series of yeah, a pipeline is a series of steps 
that must be performed in order to deliver a new version of software into new environments or production. Here you can see an ideal pipeline. Our first step is new code build. So let's say you're a developer and you build a small function in your local. After you develop this code, you will push this code to a server. It can be a GitHub or GitLab or this type of version control places. Once you push your code, this pipeline will automatically start working. The first step is new code build. So after you push your code, this pipeline script will automatically take it and build it. After build is done, it will go to the next step, which is code quality and automation checks. In this step, the automatic script will run and it will check code quality and it can do some other automated checks. If this is also working, which means it is successful. So first, this must be successful. After that, it will go to code quality, auto check. This must be successful. And once this two step is successful, it will deploy to deployment environment. Let's say in your company, you have a deployment and you have a test environment. After that, you have production environment where users can access this application. After this piece of code, software deployed in targeted environment, automated tests can start running. Let's say we have two different lines. The first one is automated API tests. This test must be successful. And in parallel, we can also run different type of tests. Let's say we also have automated UI regression tests. This is also successful. All right. If this two is successful, this code will be deployed directly to test environment. Let's say in any of this stage, it's not successful. It will give us a direct feedback. It means that something is wrong with our application. So we will get automatic feedback. And it means that the engineer who pushed the code should look into this problem and solve it. Let's say this is all successful. After that, it deployed to a test environment. And then we can run different tests with different scripts. All right, let's say we run our automated tests, API tests again, it is successful. In parallel, we can also run web mobile tests. It's also successful. And at final, we can also add automated performance tests in this pipeline. Let's say it's also successful. So you can see that all three is successful. It means that the new function already passed through the full pipeline. It is fully green. It means all the steps were successful. After that, it can be automatically deployed into production. So here we see that continuous integration, continuous deployment, and also continuous delivery. If any part of this is not successful, it means that this change cannot go to production because something is wrong with this. We don't want our users to access this new function. It means that the engineer will debug this problem, will solve it, and once the fix is ready, again, they will push this code, and this pipeline will start over. And if it's green, it means that we can deploy our changes to production environment. All right, that's it for now. Automation is a key part of continuous integration and continuous delivery. As a test engineers, we don't need to be master in this, but we should always target that our automated tests should always run as part of the pipeline which will enable our company to continuously deliver changes to production. Continuous integration and delivery is one of the reasons that our job is in a high demand. Companies need automation engineers to enable this pipeline to deliver their software to production fast. Alright, that's it for now. See you at the next lesson.